Hey everyone, this is a short lecture on the Cyril, which was the third and final of our readings last week. Um, now, Cyril you can think of as picking up naturally where Turing left off. Um, Turing, remember, thought that if a machine can successfully play the imitation game, um, or as we would say today, if it can pass the Turing test, then we should consider it to be a thinking thing, just like other humans. And um, Cyril thinks that there's an idea here called strong AI, which is the idea that if we do things right, we can write a computer program that would not only behave um, fairly complicated, but would also actually qualify as having a mind. It would understand what it was doing and saying to us. Um, Searle thinks that this is wrong, and his thought experiment that he uses to try to show this is called the Chinese room. Now, this is something that I think uh, most people actually got pretty well on the discussion boards, so it's not worth spending a whole lot of time on, but just to recap, the idea is that you're supposed to imagine Searle sitting in a room, he has a big book in front of him, and then in one side of the room come some instructions in Chinese, and Searle uses those instructions to look up in his big book what to write down. He writes something down in Chinese, and then he passes the thing out, out of the room. And um, to people outside of the room, it appears that there is someone inside who understands Chinese. But the thing is that Searle, when you imagine him in the room, doesn't really understand Chinese. He's just following the instructions in his big book. Now, of course, the analogy here is that Searle is supposed to be behaving like a computer program. He's just following rules based on what symbols there are in front of him. And he thinks, look, if I'm in the Chinese room, and I can't understand what's going on, then surely a computer program that's also doing the very same thing that I'm doing should not understand what's going on, even if from the outside it looks like it passes the Turing test. Like, if people are convinced that there's a real human understanding Chinese on the inside. So, um, this is a very quick argument against strong AI, and he, um, as you know, has lots of replies to it, which are in the article you read, but um, that's the basic idea, and that's where I'll stop.